Okay guys, I'm so excited. This is a project I've had in mind for just about over a year and I think I've finally figured out how to do it. So I'm just going to show you what I have here. I've got this ball resting on this container and it's weighed down. This is going to act as my funnel. This is just a water bottle that I've cut up. It's going to go in here like this and I'll show you how that works later. I've got one ounce of water in this container. In here I've got my um, rapid set cement all in powder form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my gloves on and you really should be wearing a mask as you do this because cement can be toxic. Okay, gloves are on. This is my um, container. I've got an ounce of water as I said in here. I'm going to go to the four ounce mark when I uh, measure out for the powder. I can just pour it directly into the water. I've got my stir stick. I'm going to pour the powder into the water. Let's just go for it. Okay, you've got a very limited working time here. This sets up in 15 minutes, so you have to work fast. So just keep stirring until you're pretty certain that powder is well saturated. Well, let's just zoom in on here. Okay, so mix one part water, blah, blah, blah. Uh, mix aggressively for about one minute to achieve a lump-free mixture. Okay, so let's just go for a minute. Okay guys, um, this is mixed and I'm ready to pour and I'm thinking it's a bit thin but we'll see what happens. So, just gonna pour it right in. I go. Um, just going to pour the whole thing. We'll see what happens. Now I'm going to displace this with something that I'm going to drop down into the center. Okay, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to pop this down somewhere. Now, this is what I'm going to use in the center because I'm going to drop a planter down the middle. So, here we go. I'm going to pop this in until it doesn't go any further. Now, I can't tell if that's full. I might need a little more on my next pour. Okay, my crafty flock, we're back for take number three just going to show you what we have here. So I've changed strategies. Instead of just cutting one hole in the top and then pouring and then inserting this tube in the middle, I've actually cut a hole at both ends. I've sealed that with some tape. I've also got some putty around there. I don't know if you can see that. And to seal where I cut around the middle, I've got the electrical tape, as I did in the first two takes, around the sides here. And then to just squeeze it together, I've got some blue tape, just to put some pressure on that middle portion so that it doesn't ooze. And what I'm going to do is pour in the top, and hopefully it'll level and settle. Put that back, we're going to take this outside and pour as we did in the first two takes. And um, let's see if third time is a charm. Okay guys, we're back for take three. And I know my quantities because I've had two prior takes. So, there's gonna be eight ounces of powder to two ounces of water. So I'm just gonna get my powder into my bucket here. Okay, here we go, and I've got a mask on and gloves, and it's a good idea to do that. So I've already marked my two ounces on the cup so that I can see it. I'm just going to pour this in. Okay, so I'm at the two ounce mark. I'm going to put the water first. 
Now I've got a stir stick here and I've got my form ready to go. And basically I've cut this ball in half. I've taped it with electrical tape. I've got another tube, as you can see, right in the middle there, which I'm gonna pour around. I've cut a water bottle in half. It's going to act as my funnel. I'm gonna put that on like this, pour into here, and hopefully it's gonna go around the tube and fill up, then I'm gonna tap it to release the air bubbles. So fingers crossed this goes well. So for now, let's start mixing my powder. If you can just zoom out because this is gonna poof. Okay, so we're back to pour, and um, I don't know if I made it clear before, but it's it's a ratio of um, four parts powder to one part of water. So I've got my form here. I'm gonna put my funnel over, and I'm gonna start to pour this. Looks like it's already starting to set up. You do it really quick. I think we're gonna need every little bit of this. You have to work fast because it sets up within 15 minutes, so you don't have a lot of working time. Okay, so we're gonna just tap it for a little bit just to release any air bubbles. Hopefully, I've got every nook and cranny here. Maybe I will fill it just a touch more. Okay, that's looking really full now. Let's wait for it to dry. Hi guys, you're gonna have to excuse the noise because our neighbor is trimming their garden. That's what you get for working outside in the summertime. Okay, so we're back now. It's had a few hours of setting. I've taken the lid off. It gets quite warm, so by releasing the lid, it can cool off from the inside. I took off the tape that was around the edge like this. That's gone now. The bottom came off very easily. Now I have to get this middle part out. So I'm just gonna give it a bit of a squeeze just to get it going. And I think what I'll do is put the lid back on so I can twist it. And here it comes. As you can see, it's coming out quite easily. There we go. And uh, now we just have this last part here. Once you put your nail under here and release it, it will come off. Perfect, wow, look at that. Just okay, let's set it down. Of, Just a little bit of sanding is all it needs. Yeah. yeah. Okay guys, so I'm going to take you through all three of my tries here. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, so the first one, 
as you can see, I did not use enough of the powder or water and it only filled halfway. Now the first one I actually just had one hole in the top here. It was taped up, no hole in the bottom. And the tube. And the tube. And the tube was inserted through the center. But then what happened with my second try, as you can see here, is that the pressure of inserting the tube caused it to deform and it kind of exploded on the side there. So that's kind of deformed, not looking too bad. So we changed strategies and Hubs came up with an amazing idea to actually put holes in both pieces. So as you can see here, I've got holes at either end that got inserted. And then we poured it upside down. Just like that. And as you can see, that seems to have been the winner right there. Now there's just a few air bubbles, so I could have done a better job at that. So I'm just going to, yeah, that's flat and it sits perfect. So. Okay, let's just test out the planter. Perfect fit. Now they stop. <laughs> okay, here we are with our practice ball and what we're going to do is we're going to paint the stitching that you see there red just to add some highlights to the concrete. That's the paint we're using. And uh, right now my husband's going to demonstrate how to wrap a little bit of a pad so that we can just dab the paint. You could do it just like that and yeah. you'll be done. But easier to put it now into a larger piece. Pull it tight. Twist it tight. And you're going to put elastic on there. And you want to get it really tight. Now you have a little paint pad. It could be a little tight. Cool. So now you can put a little paint on there. And dab it. it. Yeah. Okay, let's give this a try. Cool. It's gonna pour. Pour it. Yeah. Just pour a little bit. See if it works. You might need another air hole. No. Oh, it's coming. Okay, that's all we need, just a dab. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to take my little cotton pad here, just dip a little bit into the paint. I'm going to dab it off. There you go. That's better. It's working well. Look at that. 